In the remote, almost inaccessible Shakahola village in Kilifi, the horrific extent of the works of suspected cult leader Paul Mackenzie, who asked his followers to starve themselves to death, continues to unravel. <laughs> Detectives have exhumed more than 11 bodies at the 800-acre piece of land believed to be owned by Mackenzie, bringing the official death toll so far to 58, as eight of those rescued died under treatment. <laughs> On Monday, such teams wearing white overalls and equipped with masks continued to dig at the site where more than 50 shallow graves were discovered Sunday in search of more bodies. There are fears the bodies could be more than authorities had initially estimated, with several graves burying more than one body each. Of the bodies exhumed Monday, seven were found in one grave, the highest from one site since the operation to exhume victims began last week. The shocking deaths by starvation prompting authorities to treat the situation as a massacre. Inspector General of Police Jafet Kome and Director of Criminal Investigations Mohamed Amin arrived at the village Monday afternoon. Inspector General of Police Jafet Kome told reporters that as of Sunday evening, homicide detectives and pathologists had confirmed 47 people dead, while 11 more bodies had been exhumed by Monday afternoon. Surrounding suspected cults, a leader within this uh, region, that is Kilifi County, we are told is known as pastor. Because himself a pastor, I doubt if he's a pastor. Uh, but he calls himself uh, the Pastor Paul Jerry McKenzie. So I, I wish to let you know that uh, the National Police Service uh, wishes to address uh, uh, this disturbing uh, and inhuman event um, of the past uh, a couple of weeks that have, have led to the arrest of uh, one Paul Jerry McKenzie uh, um, and among others. So far, 14 people in police custody. Police also rescued nine people from death by starvation. Five of those rescued were in critical condition and have been rushed to hospital. The search also led to the arrest of a man who identified himself as Pastor Zablon Wayesu, suspected to be Paul Mackenzie's core mastermind. The man was found reading a Bible on a section of the expansive 800-acre land owned by Mackenzie. He was, however, not fasting, claiming that he was waiting until June so that he would start fasting alongside other men from the Good News International Church. The controversial pastor Mackenzie, who encourages his followers to fast to death to see God, is believed to ask his followers to live within his 800-acre piece of land in Shakahola Forest, land which Interior Cabinet Secretary Kithure Kindiki has since declared a crime scene. Many, including non-locals, are suspected to have left their homes to fast in the forest. Whatever happened here is very sad. Uh, it's, it's horrendous, horrific, and uh, really uh, something that uh, we would not have expected to have happened in, in our country. Uh, we've seen the, remote, the remoteness of this place, and uh, I guess that's why uh, whoever was doing this must have picked a place where it, would not, it, would, it is remote and would not be picked. Um, really, we will have to sit down as, as prosecutors and, and think very carefully of what kind of uh, um, charges we are going to prefer. Mackenzie and 14 others remain in police custody in Malindi pending investigations. Police reports indicate that while in detention, Mackenzie has staged a hunger strike since homicide detectives launched a search operation on his 800-acre piece of land. The case will be mentioned on the 2nd of May. Michelle Ngele Odiambo, K24.